Tyler Perry's been making waves through his productions, and the latest one after Netflix's Mia Kalpa is Divorce in the Black. The film follows 37-year-old Ava, who has been putting up with her husband Dallas's shenanigans for many years. They went against their parents' wishes and got married, and Ava fought hard to try to prove that Dallas was a good man and the perfect man for her. However, Dallas has never been good to Ava. In fact, it seems she keeps putting up with him because she knows that his family treated him badly and that he's the way he is because of some sort of traumatic incident. Ava's father is a preacher and her mother is a pious woman, while on the other hand, Dallas's mom is not particularly interested in the church or Ava's father's preachings. The film begins at Dallas's brother's funeral and Ava's family has graciously taken care of everything. However, when her father starts to say some hurtful things about Dallas's brother, things start to get chaotic. A spoiler warning ahead as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the film. If you've watched it already, let's dive straight into the video. And while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. What triggers the divorce? In all honesty, I'm not certain I can answer this question. It seems like Dallas and Ava haven't been happy with each other in years. And Ava's only been in the marriage because she's a God-fearing woman who trusts every word her parents have told her. Ironically, they've been asking her to separate from Dallas, but she reminds them that the whole point of marriage is to endure it through the tough times. Dallas's mom gets her sons to carry her dead kid's body out of the coffin because she's not happy with Ava's family looking after things. Dallas's family is poor, so it's rather obvious her big problem here is money. Though Dallas leaves with his family, Ava finds him so they can go home together. This is when he tells her that she planned the funeral to humiliate his family. Somehow, this woman doesn't run in the other direction and goes home with this guy who drinks all the time and does not care about work or anything. At home, Dallas is bent over the toilet and sleeping, and Ava is kind enough to try and take him back to bed. But Dallas says something cryptic that makes her quite concerned. It seems like Dallas has been hiding some sort of secret, and he says, she made me do it, in his drunken state. We'll get back to this towards the end. The next day, Ava's bestie Rona and her husband invite the pair to dinner. The reservation's at 7, but Dallas can't wait a mere 45 minutes for Ava to shower and get changed because according to him, all she did all day was sit in the bank. When Ava's done showering, she comes down to an empty hallway. A drunken Dallas insults Rona and her husband, who is apparently his own best friend, and then says some nasty things about black women. This is when he decides to announce in front of the whole restaurant that he wants a divorce. What happens in Ava's hometown? Ava immediately returns to her parents' house because they're her support system. Her parents are truly understanding of the situation and her mom eventually comes upon a letter that details all the abuse that Dallas has committed against Ava. They hide these details from her father because he's an ex-Marine and given his daughter was treated like trash, he'd have a bullet in the man's head in no time. On the other hand, as it goes for single women, her parents are also eager for her to get together with someone else immediately. So they get her old friend Benji, who also happens to be divorced, to try and take her out. Ava is skeptical at first, and of course it's not even been a couple of days, so it's way too soon to think about a rebound. But Benji also just wants to be a good friend and help Ava with whatever difficulties she has in terms of the divorce. Ava's grateful, but she also just wants to be alone, free and happy. Eventually, on the last day of her holiday week at her parents' house, Ava spends the night with Benji in the back of his truck. He doesn't try anything funny with her and they just talk. When Ava returns to work, she'll be reborn. Rona can see it in her face and the bounce in her step. But it lasts for a mere five minutes until Dallas shows up at the office because he's seen a picture of Benji and Ava at the farm. Dallas creates a scene at Ava's workplace, commanding that she show up to sign the papers the next day. Ava has no problem doing so, and she signs the papers without a lawyer, looking ravishing in a pink dress. Rona then takes Ava to her house, where she's planned a massive divorce party with a fancy cake and scantily clad men, but also Benji. Ava and Benji get dancing and they're having a blast, but Dallas shows up there too. Rona's husband Jim manages to stall him, but Dallas gets word Benji and Ava are together anyway. On the other hand, Ava and Benji get back home. And this time, the man says he can't hold back any longer. They get to doing their business and Ava's all happy while getting ready for work the next day until she sees a nonchalant Dallas munching on his cereal at her dining table. 
Dallas tells Ava that she's going to shower in his house, though they're divorced and the house belongs to her, and then sees Benji in the bed. He tries to beat up the guy, but Benji is three times his size and knocks him unconscious. Ava then drags him out of the house, finally screaming about how exhausted she is and admitting that she doesn't want anything to do with the man anymore. This is all while she's dragging his body out of her house. Dallas then has the gal to kill some of Benji's farm animals and then grab Ava's mother in the grocery store to threaten her, but he fortunately doesn't do anything to her. Later, when Ava's enjoying dinner together with Benji, Rona and Jim, the guy shows up at Rona's house, apparently to see his best friend. Ava has a restraining order on the man at this point, but he doesn't care at all. What happens to Ava's father? Eventually, Ava's father learns about what Dallas did to her mother and shows up to Dallas's caravan with a shotgun. He's only threatening, but Dallas's family beat up the old man with no warning, even shooting him in the leg. Since her father ends up conscious, the sheriff has no proof that it was Dallas who hurt the man. Now truly frustrated, Ava tells Dallas that she's heading home to sleep with Benji and that she's been cheating on him all through their marriage. This, of course, is to provoke the man. And lo and behold, Dallas is breaking into the house within seconds. When Dallas arrives, Ava asks him if he hurt her father. He doesn't give her a straight answer, but everybody knows the truth. She provokes Dallas further so that he can get to physically abusing her. Dallas ends up flinging Ava across the room, choking her and even pulling a gun on her. This is when she dials 911 because she's got all the proof she needs on her body. However, Ava's not done yet. She then pulls out a surprise shotgun at Dallas. He taunts her to shoot and she ends up doing it, leaving the man dead for good. In Divorce in the Black's ending, Ava's family wins because her father's well again and they're all happy and together. On the other hand, Dallas's family shows up at the hospital all miserable, claiming that this isn't the end. Now, what was the thing that Dallas was talking about at the beginning of the movie? He says that he ended up killing his dad for his mom because he was abusive towards her. Eventually, he turned out to be exactly like the man, which I suppose we're meant to attribute to his guilt. This definitely doesn't warrant Dallas's behavior, and despite Ava repeatedly asking him to get help, he never listened, only spewing out misogynistic nonsense. Dallas was brought up in hatred, while Ava was brought up with love and respect and still she tried her best to stick up for the guy. For him, it became about how she was trying to change him and never about her trying to help him, which is probably why he ended up dead. Thank you for watching this video and do share your thoughts in the comment section about Divorce in the Black. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you in the next one and for the time being, we're signing off. Bye.